Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to draw a person performing sort of a push-up. So a person is on the floor and we're looking at the person like straight on. So if your pencil's all set, we will draw ourselves uh, an option or two. So this is actually easier than we than most uh, people think. So we'll have an arc going like that. Let's throw down a shoulder set right there. And yes, we know that the head is nestled right here. Now, we can do that also. And that. Let's actually widen this a little bit here. And we are ready to play with a few options here. Now, if the person was shirtless, most likely, depending on, of course, depending on the, the build of the person, delts, uh, sorry as I was mentioning, according to the build of the person, the, the depth, the width of the body will vary. So one option right here is that we go like this, like rings, so nose, eyes or eyebrows in this case. And of course a hint of the mouth which is not important here somewhere here so that is the top of the head not really the top of the head top of the head would be just the top of the head showing with just a hint of the nose but here we have put it in a slightly more uh, I guess uh, detailed manner so some neck muscles like you know going back and one one the elbow two and two and then of course the hands how that comes together is we go right around there now depending on how outstretched the hands are a hint of the bicep might show or it might not depending on how outside or inside the hands are right here it is just showing that much so that is the core of the hand and we're going to do uh, the thumb let's actually grab a different color for this because the hands uh, well, the position might change. And people, I mean, of course, there's so many variations of the push-up that, for instance, if somebody is doing a wide grip push-up or a closer grip push-up, it will all vary but conventionally we'll see this hands like placed in this manner so there's like person like here, like pressing down for sure or the other option that we have of course is just it's a, even a simpler exercise but let's So like a, not really an ideal push up there, but let's say that, you know, we had an action pose that we wanted to just tap into. And, you know, had the person like, uh, you know, balancing himself on two beams or something. And ideally it's better to work from the hands up and then go and outstretch everything and it becomes easier. But we did it the other way and that is okay as well. And that is the other variation of course the anatomy will be more outstretched in this case and we have to make changes accordingly 
but also the person could be looking straight up. So when the person is looking straight up, just that will do. Eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. And of course the accompanying uh, uh, vein structure and muscle uh, lines can help. And there we have it. So two variations so far. There's also another one which is not an ideal one and that is I mean if we want to utilize this pose for something else. So a wider grip going there So the person is like, you know, this, this, that far, the hand most likely, in this case anyways, might not be flat. We'll have to make the arms go down a little bit and then the hand will rest flat just like these here. So a few different options there in terms of person performing uh, standard push-ups. Uh, let's see, which one do we want to... We're going to go with the original one. I think that is the best one of the lot. And we'll just highlight it so we can just see it a little better. There we have it. So please do try it out, it's a lot of fun. Could also be very instrumental in different illustrations, different poses. Uh, so we put out content every day, pretty much. Please uh, do subscribe, keep in touch. Thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.